what's happening right now is Biden's weakness on the world stage has never been more apparent, but Republican leaders, thankfully, are pushing back against our adversaries. Now, yesterday, South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem signed a bill banning China and other, quote, evil foreign governments from state contracts. And today, TikTok CEO was grilled by lawmakers on Capitol Hill over concerns that the social media company is spying on Americans. Take a look. Do you disagree with FBI Director Ray and NSA Director Nakasone when they said that the CCP could have the capability to manipulate data and send it to the United States? Do you disagree with their statement? Their, their statement says could. Uh, so do you disagree with that? No, I don't disagree with that. Okay. Has ByteDance spied on American citizens? I don't think that spying is the right way to describe it. <laughs> South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem is with us. Uh, Governor, how are you? <laughs> we got a great crowd that wishes you were here. All right. It sounds like it. So you were the That's first, wonderful. one of the first governors to say no to TikTok. Now you have banned mm -hmm. China and uh, other evil foreign governments from state contracts. Um, mm -hmm. And you mentioned them, you know, China, Cuba, Iran, Korea, uh, Russia, Venezuela. Thank God you're doing that. Thank God you're leading on this front. Mm -hmm. I wish every governor will follow suit. Well, it's been wonderful to see some of them take action after we did. We were the state that first brought the ban uh, of TikTok on state devices and on our servers. We made it a criminal offense if a state employee or someone did download or access it from one of our devices and jeopardize people's personal information. Over 30 states took action after we did here in South Dakota. And then we saw Congress as well ban it for federal uh, devices as well. It's been great to see them hold hearings finally and to be talking about this important issue recognize that the chinese communist party will put its people through hell in order to keep them in bondage i hope the american people are willing to be just a little bit inconvenienced to protect their freedom because that's really what this is about Why are it's you... about giving up yeah go an... ahead. it's about giving up an app to not allow our enemies to spy on us and manipulate our children and to use algorithms to influence us. Uh, it's incredibly important that we take action like this. I'm so grateful that other states are taking action and the federal government as well. Well, could you maybe call Joe Biden and tell him the next time a Chinese spy balloon flies over our entire country, yes. maybe they should shoot it down uh, before it gets over Alaska airspace? Because, you know, they got away with mm -hmm. that. And then he let Putin get away with taking down one of our drones. Now, uh, to me, that's nothing but a sign of weakness, and that will incur mm -hmm. further aggression. We see President Xi, President Putin basically hugging and kissing each other. They're now in love. Mm -hmm. It seems like a romance is now brewing, but it's a danger to the world, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. And that's why you see governors taking action. That's why I brought an executive order months ago to ban state contracts and telecommunication uh, contacts within the state. That's We got that codified into law, signed it yesterday, that now uh, no evil foreign government will be able to gain revenue from business with the state of South Dakota. I hope other states will follow that as well. And I brought legislation that would keep China from buying our land here. Uh, so I'm hopeful that we'll continue to see progress on that. Listen, the only reason that we feel like we have to be so aggressive is because our federal government and our president are failing. They are endangering the American people. They are weak. And so governors have a responsibility, a, a duty to protect our people. And that's why you see us getting so engaged on these foreign policy issues. Your name, governor, comes up in terms of a possible candidate for 2024. Have you considered that? Are you considering that? Oh, I tell you what, I am considering going to bed in a few hours when I get done with all my work today. So I, you got a, a lot to do, um, a lot way, to do here. We're just grateful that you're willing to chat with us once in a while, Sean. If, if that wasn't so funny, I would really be mad you didn't answer the question. But um, oh. is there any any consideration at all? You know, listen, I think we really need a president in this country that doesn't wake up every day dreaming of being president. Um, I want somebody who recognizes the responsibility of the job, how important it is right now to do it for the right reasons. Um, we need a different president than the one that we've got, and I think that we've got to get the right leader in this country so we all get the chance to wake up safe tomorrow morning. All right, so I'll take, I'll take that as you would consider 
if somebody asks you to be VP, I'm just guessing. But anyway, <laughs> honestly, uh, Governor, thank you. Thanks for what you're doing. Thanks for your leadership on this. We appreciate it. Thanks for being here. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.